One of the most important industries in India is the iron and steel industry, which is the, called as the pillar or the foundation of industries. Now, iron and steel industry requires what? As we know, iron is required. We have coal, coking coal. Then there are uh, uh, limestone requirements, dolomite requirement, manganese and fire clay. So limestone, dolomite, man manganese and fire clay are some of the uh, things which are required in the processing of iron and steel industry. Now, as we mentioned before, uh, iron and steel is a weight losing industry. That means what happens is these industries have to be located close to the source of iron and coal because in the process of transportation, a lot of weight would be lost and it would be actually cumbersome to transport the raw material to far off places so rather than transporting the raw, uh, raw material to far off places it is a better decision to establish the industries close to the source of raw material now we would in this section be understanding about some of the major uh, iron and steel plants in India. The first that we would understand is Tisco, Tata Iron and Steel Corporation. Now this was the first private establishment of a steel plant in India and it is located on Mumbai Kolkata railway line. Now we would understand what are the sources. For iron it is the Noah Mundi and the Badam Pahar. Uh, then we have for coal the Joda mines from Odisha. Coking coal from Zaria and West Bokaro and two important rivers flowing here which provide source of energy and those are Supranekha and Kharkhai. Uh, also the port for transportation is close by which is Kolkata as it is located on the Mumbai Kolkata railway line. This is one of the best uh, suitable uh, ports which could be transporting the finished product. So this is about Tisco. Now similarly we have Isco, Indian uh, Iron Steel Corporation. Now the first factory was established at Hirapur, the second factory at Kulti and the third factory at Burnpur and this third factory in 1937 was established in cooperation with the Steel Corporation of Bengal. All of these three derive the coal from the Damodar Valley coal fields which is the Ranigan, Zaria and Ramgarh. So these are the centers from where coal is derived. Iron comes from Singhbhum in Jharkhand. So as you can see, it's not just one region. It is the nearby areas which also provide uh, the raw material. Water comes from Barkar River, which is again a tributary of Damodar River. And this lies on the Kolkata Asansol Railway line. Now steel production significantly declined in 1972-73 when the, this plant was taken over by the government. Now this was one of the reasons where the production from ISCO significantly declined. So Tesco and ISCO again we have talked about the sources for coal, iron, the major rivers flowing through these areas, the nearby ports and the railway line on which they are located. All of these are extremely important information that you have to memorize no other ways but they are exceptionally important. The next is VISL Vishweshwarya uh, Iron and Steel Limited. Now Vishweshwarya was initially known as Mesur Iron and Steel Works. Now iron came from Kemangudi in the Babubudan Hills. Coal was not present in the region, but it was brought from the forest till 1951. However, later, rather than coal, electric finance was established and for electric finance, water was used from Jock Falls. So Jock Falls uh, was the source of hydroelectric power to the project and water from Bhadravati River. Now this Vishweshwarya specializes specifically in steel and specialized alloys and therefore is a very very important plant. The next important plants that we would understand are some of the plants which were established during the second five year plan. So in India we had the five year plans which were released. Now these five year plans the aim was to develop country on a systematic flow. During the second five year plan the idea was to have integrated steel plants in India and three important steel plants came in India with different collaborations. So they were in collaboration with different nations extremely important questions asked often. In 1973 uh, SAIL which is the steel authority of India limited was also established in order to manage these plants. So among these which is Raul Kela Bilai and Durgapur. Let's understand Ra 
राहुल केला फर्स्ट राहुल केला वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन सुंदरगढ़ इन उड़ीसा इन 1959 एंड दिस केम विद जर्मन कोलैबोरेशन सो राहुल केला केम इन कोलैबोरेशन विद जर्मनी कोल वॉज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम जरिया माइंस आयरन ओर फ्रॉम सुंदरगढ़ एंड खेजुंड झार हीरा कुंड पावर प्रोजेक्ट सप्लाइड पावर टू द इलेक्ट्रिक फर्नेंस इन राहुल केला एंड वाटर केम फ्रॉम कोयोल एंड सांख रिवर्स सो दैट वॉज अबाउट द राहुल केला राहुल केला आई रिपीट अगेन केम इन कोलैबोरेशन विद जर्मनी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट इज भिलाई भिलाई केम इन विथ रशियन कोलैबोरेशन एंड दुर्गापुर केम इन विद यू के कोलैबोरेशन सो भिलाई वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन दुर्ग सो रिमेंबर दुर्गापुर नॉट इन दुर्ग भिलाई इन दुर्ग ओके सो दैट जस्ट अ क्रिस क्रॉस दैट यू वुड हैव टू रिमेंबर सो भिलाई वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन दुर्ग एंड इट केम विथ रशियन कोलैबोरेशन सो दुर्ग इन छत्तीसगढ़ वॉज द लोकेशन वेयर भिलाई वी हैव आयरन कमिंग फ्रॉम दालिया राजाहार माइन्स कोल फ्रॉम कोरबा एंड कारगली माइन्स वॉटर फ्रॉम तंदुलंडम एंड पावर फ्रॉम कोरबा थर्बल प्लांट ना भिलाई प्लांट लाइज ऑन कोलकाता मुंबई रेलवे लाइन एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टील विच इज प्रोड्यूस हियर गोज टू हिंदुस्तान शिप यार्ड थ्रू विशाखापटनम सो अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर द नेक्स्ट इज दुर्गापुर दुर्गापुर केम इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू ड्यूरिंग द सेकेंड फाइव ईयर प्लान विथ कलेबरेशन ऑफ यू के एंड हियर वी हैड कोल फ्रॉम रानीगंज एंड जरिया एंड आयरन फ्रॉम नोवा मुंडी सिमिलर टू द आयरन विच वॉज ऑप्टेन्ड इन टिस्को ना दुर्गापुर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज ऑन कोलकाता दिल्ली रेलवे लाइन सो भिलाई ऑन कोलकाता मुंबई रेलवे लाइन दुर्गापुर ऑन कोलकाता दिल्ली रेलवे लाइन एंड पावर इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम दामोदर वैली कॉर्पोरेशन और डी वी सी एज इट इज कॉल्ड एज ना दिस वॉज नॉट जस्ट द एंड इन साउथ इंडिया वी हैड न्यूमरस स्टील प्लांट्स विच वर एस्टैब्लिश सो विजाक प्लांट विच इज इन विशाखापटनम वॉज एस्टैब्लिश एंड दिस वॉज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्लांट इट वॉज बेस्ड इन आंध्र प्रदेश एंड दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट पोर्ट बेस्ड प्लांट सो इट वॉज based on the port area so port based plant and it started its operation in 1992 the port location gave it a extreme important advantage the next was the vijayanagar steel vijayanagar steel plant was another important plant which was established in the hospet region in karnataka and this was developed based on indigenously built technology and therefore important it used locally the limestone and iron ore which was present there the next important plant is the salem plant salem plant again in south india in tamil nadu was commissioned in 1982 so three important plants in south india visag vijayanagar and salem the next important plant that we uh, plant that we understand is the bokaro steel plant again Bokaro similar to Bhilai came with Russian collaboration in 1964 iron was obtained from Rahul Kela uh, the most interesting thing is Bokaro and Rahul Kela had close ties because uh, in the region of Rahul Kela we had the transportation of the coal from Zaria okay and here in uh, Bokaro the iron was brought from Rahul Kela and rahul kela required coal so that coal was taken from bokaro to rahul kela so it was actually satisfying the needs of both the plants and this uh, plant utilized water again from damodar valley corporation uh, the most important thing was that a common route was built which was known as bokaro rahul kela route combined and this was where most of the transportation was done initially these were the major plants which were established but over the times we had numerous other small units and more than 200 units were established also most of them use scrap iron as a raw material for manufacturing and in the process of electric furnace so here we have the location as you can see in this map bokaro jamshedpur raulkela burnpur durgapur uh, bilai are some of the locations which are located very very uh, in proximity closer to the source of raw material and the major rivers flowing through there however in south we had seen Salem, Vijayanagar, uh, Visag, or Vishakhapatnam plant. We also had Badravati steel plant, which is another important plant. So those are some of the steel plants and the important uh, major steel plants in India. The iron, 
the source of iron the source of coal uh, the major rivers flowing through these major steel plants are extremely important and which steel plant came in collaboration with which nation is again an extremely important question so uh, in the next sections we would cover other major industries in india